Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord and welcome to my exclusive PlayStation 4 Skyrim Mod Showcase. Now, I will be doing these around about two times a week, I believe, depending on how many mods actually come to the PlayStation 4 console. But let it be known that every mod shown in this video will actually work on your PlayStation 4. So yeah, I just kind of thought I'd make a little exclusive series, especially for my friends and fans over on the PlayStation 4 console. I hope that you guys will enjoy coming back and seeing all of the latest and greatest mods from around the Skyrim world each episode. Anyway guys, now I've introduced the series, let us get on with the awesome mods in today's episode. I love homes in Skyrim, they're absolutely amazing, but do you know what's better? A small tiny home in a little lovely looking village. And now you can have just that with our first mod today, the Princess Riverwood Cottage by Princess Stomper. What Stomper does with this mod is adds in a new small player home to the very back of Riverwood Village on the main road called the Ivy Cottage. And you guys can see right there the ivy leaves just falling from the roof and it just looks amazing. Its placement in this village is just like it's meant to be. It just looks absolutely beautiful. I love the ivy in this game anyway. It just looks so nice. I don't know what it is about it, but even with all of the shrubs and the garden mushrooms and the leaves and the bluebells right there in front of this house, it just blends very well into Riverwood and I really didn't think I would take to this mod as much as I did. Now once inside your new ivy cottage, you will notice that it looks pretty amazing, if I'm honest. Everything is placed just perfectly, very compact, not too much clutter, all of the items and the furniture go pretty well with each other, and that is something that I look for in these player homes. I look for when it's compact, it's kind of accessible, and it just looks great in general, and this is certainly one of those mods that Stomper has created. Now the great thing about this small cottage is it has a basement which acts as your bedroom, your alchemy and enchanting station and I'm gonna say it's pretty spacious for a very small player home. This is probably one of the smallest I've seen but somehow Stomper just makes it work perfectly in fact. It's a pretty perfect home, it really is. As well as those necessities, Stomper has actually added in some lovely decor to make this home just feel, well, more homely, I guess. And including a lot of storage space for all of your items, all scattered around this house from a little armor kind of area to a magic area and just a generalized item area. So you guys should find a storage space for specific items, which is, you know, always a great thing. This is definitely a very good mod for the first week of PS4 modding. So mod number two is a very simple but necessary mod to add into your game and it is called Lampposts of Skyrim Special Edition by Mika Ghost. And like I said, it is a very simple mod, so there isn't actually much to say about it, other than it adds a load of lampposts to all of the major roads throughout Skyrim, because, you know, they've always lacked that kind of lighting. And when you see movies such as these type of ones, you know, like, let's say, for example, The Hobbit, you'll always see a couple of lampposts kind of lighting up the way for all of the travelers and passerbyers, all that kind of stuff, you know? So it kind of adds a little bit more of immersiveness into the game, I guess. So if you are all about immersiveness, this mod is definitely for you. Other than that, the lampposts look great, and it's just kind of one of those cool mods, even though it's small. But yeah, it's pretty cool, so yeah. Our third mod is yet again another very small but necessary mod to have in your game. It is called Rich Merchants of Skyrim Special Edition by, again, Mika Ghost. Obviously, this guy knows what people need. Basically, this mod will add every merchant 10,000 gold to their inventory because there's nothing more annoying than selling an item that is worth 5,000 coins for actually 1,000 because the merchants never had enough coins to actually buy it full price. People who have been playing Skyrim will tell you that that shit is annoying 
This mod is very necessary to all of you guys who are new to the game. Please, it is a must download. But, like I said guys, that is pretty much all to say about this mod. It just adds 10,000 gold to all of the merchants throughout Skyrim. So, let's move on to our next mod. Our fourth mod in today's episode is the Hearthfire Building Materials God Chest by Vincent. And, like the title suggests, this mod basically adds a load of God Chests around houses that you can purchase in the Hearthfire DLC. So, when you actually go to your plot that you've purchased, you will see a chest containing a crazy amount of items that you can actually use to build your houses and kind of cheat your way throughout the game. So, if those of you cannot be bothered going chopping logs, buying resources and all that kind of shit, this mod is definitely for you. As well as the crazy amount of items that Vincent puts into these chests, he has also added in a trap door that leads to the Qua Smoke Room for the developing purposes. Inside these rooms, you can actually find a load of items from all sorts of DLCs and just kind of take them out with you. And also, I would like to say, when you are playing this on the PS4, because you are not allowed external assets, these chests will not reset. So once you actually take all of the things out of these chests, they will not appear again. So that is why there is just a crazy amount of things in there, since, such as like 300 bird claws and 300 bone meal. You know, there's just a crazy amount of items for you guys to mess around with and use throughout your gameplay. But yeah, like I said guys, this is pretty much being it for this mod. And our final mod in today's showcase is the Dovakin Keep by Charlikran and wow, this is the most downloaded mod on the PS4 so far, I believe, and there is a good reason for it to be. It is absolutely amazing. This basically adds in a large castle that you can have as a settlement with a lot of armor, weapons, loads of mannequins, loads of items, chests, storage spaces, pretty much everything you would want in your house, you have it in this mod. And as well as that, you have a brilliant looking castle that is lore friendly and just looks pretty fucking badass if I'm honest, it looks absolutely insane. Once you download this mod, just check your map and you will see a new location has been added and that is this amazing looking castle in this forest and honestly, this could not be a nicer looking area to have a castle in the middle of nowhere, it just goes pretty perfectly. I mean, whilst I was doing my TFC kind of toggle fly cam around the actual castle itself, it just looked amazing. It looked kind of like a haunted castle if I was honest. But besides from that, the whole area in which it's been placed just fits very well, very neatly, and this is definitely a mod I will have installed until I stop playing this game. Now once you get inside your brand new castle, you will find that there are a load of rooms for you to explore. So make sure that you do do that and you will find that each of these rooms have been tailored for specific things. So let's say you want to enchant a weapon. You will go to the enchanting room in which you will find a load of bootcases that are empty for you to actually store your enchantment books onto them. It's a pretty nice little addition to this mod that I thought was pretty awesome and that you guys would very much enjoy as I know I did too. It's mods like these that actually make me not bothered that the Skyrim settlement building mode is not like the Fallout 4 one. I mean, I used to love creating my own creations in Fallout 4 but definitely seeing what other people come up with, all the different item placements, what they think will work and what they think people will actually like in these player homes just makes it so worthwhile. And honestly, I can say right now, I know I will be downloading and showcasing so, so, so many more player homes to come on all consoles because I absolutely love them. And I know some of you guys out there will most likely love them too. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about this mod. But anyway guys, that has pretty much been it for this mod. If you want to find out more about it, then go and download it. It is a very awesome mod and definitely the best mod of today's showcase in my opinion. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy. If you did, then please remember to leave a like and make sure you go and check out my channel for more Skyrim videos. 
And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.